Hello, hello. Oh my gosh, I was so excited. I thought this day would never come. Okay, so as you guys hop on, um, if you're on catching this on replay, definitely let me know that you caught this on replay. I wanna be sure to say hi to you. Um, I know that, especially on live videos, most people catch these videos on replay. Um, so if you're popping on live, say hi. I definitely want to um, give you a shout out, especially if you hit the share button. Um, I know that a lot of you guys are busy and uh, we'll probably watch the rest of this on replay. So. I'm gonna jump right into it because I've been waiting for this for so long. So, hey Jason. Okay, so a few weeks ago, I did a Facebook Live and I gave you all several tips on like, a lot of people have been asking, what do you do on social media? As if they could like look over my shoulder, figure out like exactly what to do, kind of like a daily routine, right? Um, and here's the kicker is that I know that probably to a lot of people, it probably looks like, you know, to be really successful in network marketing, to do your business on social media, you probably feel like, like, dude, I don't have time for that. I, they must be sitting on social media literally all day long, like that's all they probably ever do, right? <laughs> okay, so the other thing is, is that there are a lot of gurus out there. There's a lot of noise. There's, you could take courses, you could read eBooks, there's handbooks, there's everything from free to paid and like, Probably, if you're in network marketing, if you're in direct sales, you've probably downloaded like 48 different things and you're trying to implement everything. You know what I mean? You're trying to learn all these strategies like should you should you brand yourself this way? Should you figure out your ideal client? Should you do all this stuff before you can grow your business? And when the problem is that like a lot of, hey Laura, it's Laura. Um, there are a lot of people who feel like they're like stuck because they're like in perpetual learning mode, right? So if you've ever felt like, especially if you're in network marketing, if you've ever felt like you have to constantly learn, 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 and then you can do stuff before you can be successful in your business, I'm here to tell you, stop it. Um, coming from somebody who is a, you know, kind of a perfectionist, and that can be a really strong characteristic, right? To be like a type A, perfectionist type of personality that can be used for good. It can also hold you back. It can keep you stuck if you feel like you have to have everything in order. And a lot of times what people do is they feel super overwhelmed because there's so much information out there. Like you're getting it from your upline, you're getting it from like cross lines who are super successful and you start trying to do what they're doing, like copycatting. Um, or you don't do anything and you're in constant like consumption mode, like you're just watching all these videos, reading all these things and consuming so much information, but you don't implement, right? Which leads to being overwhelmed. So like if you've ever felt overwhelmed, you're probably like, oh, you feel stressed all the time. Like you constantly feel this pressure that you need to be growing your business, you need to be posting on social media, but once you go to actually make the post, it's like you freeze because you don't know what to do, you don't know what to say, and especially in this world of like influencers and all of that, a lot of people are feeling the pressure of, I don't wanna post anything unless it's gonna get lots of likes, right or lots of engagement that's one that's one huge category of people or you might be in the category of people where you're just like throwing spaghetti at the wall you're just posting all the time you're sharing all the things you're copying and pasting lots of posts you're sharing lots of memes because you think they're funny but you're wondering why no one is hitting the like button no one is in your inbox <laughs> asking about your business or what you do if that's not happening, like if you're not getting engagement, you're not getting traction, you're not getting people asking for more information, this is gonna be a really helpful video for you, okay? So if you're in network marketing and you have people, now this is this is a lesson that I'm gonna teach you guys too in, in this training, but if you have people who follow you, like, look, like think about your Facebook friends, think about the people who follow you, think about the people who are in your groups, People that are following you, are they in network marketing or direct sales? If so, share this. Here's the thing about sharing other people's content though, okay? You don't wanna share just everything willy-nilly because if your target audience, if, you're, if the people who are watching you and following you aren't, they don't care about the kind of stuff that you're sharing, right? Like a, I see a lot of people who they share a bunch of stuff, like, I don't know, funny cat videos or political stuff or um, stuff that's only pertaining to the local area, right? 
Um, every once in a while it might be okay, but like, listen, if your business is global, if you're in network marketing, if a majority of your people aren't in that space, why would you be sharing that with the whole audience? Like, why would you be taking up real estate space for something that's not something of value to your followers, right? So you only really wanna, if you're gonna share something that you didn't personally create yourself, make sure it's something that you know a majority of the people who are following you would say like, whoa, thanks for sharing that, that was really helpful, right? So. If you're in network marketing, share a training video that's gonna help other network marketers because then that's you giving value. So if you hit the share button, if you do share this video, let me know and I will um, say thank you and hopefully I'll catch it on here. Okay, so let's dive right in, all right? So a couple of weeks ago, um, I did a video that I was kind of sharing my, um, I was basically sharing my daily routine. Like I've had a lot of people who have asked like, what do you do if they could like watch over my shoulder? I actually have some team members who are like, can I watch over your shoulder? <laughs> um, half joking, right? Half kind of not. Cause I think it really does help sometimes to actually see what do people actually do? So I mentioned a few weeks ago that I was actually going to give you my literal daily routine. Here's what I do every single day, seven days a week without fail. Okay. Like a list strategy and the types of posts that I make seven days a week. Like if there are seven days in a week, here are the types of things that I post. Cause here's something that a lot of people don't realize. Facebook has changed a lot. What worked for you and to promote your business or your products three years ago, four years ago, does not work today. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't work today. For example, posts that are like your company's graphic that has your company logo and like a whole bunch of words on it, like text, look, like it's the same kind of thought process as when you post something like a picture on Facebook, you know how like Facebook will come up with those squares and it'll recognize their face. Like, hey, do you wanna tag so-and-so? Listen, Facebook is a free platform. Okay, it's offered to us for free. Do you know how they pay for their gazillion dollars worth of platform and servers and employees and all that? It's because they make their money by their revenue by people who do pay for paid ads on Facebook. That's how the rest of us can enjoy this platform for free. So if you know that, you have to also understand Facebook does not like it when you send people, one, when you send people away from their platform to go access some other page. So if you're sharing your site, <laughs> your replicated MLM site on your page, on your profile, in your posts or whatever, your Facebook knows that y'all, they're very smart. Have you not noticed that, that it's like, it's able to read your pictures. It's able to tag people that you didn't say to tag. You know what I'm saying? So look, if you send people off of Facebook, Facebook's been like, no girl, you're not sending anybody off of here. We want them right here. So guess what they do? They punish your posts and nobody sees it. That's why those kinds of posts like never get any likes, never get any engagement or anything like that because Facebook is onto you. They know, hey, she's trying to advertise some other website and she's not paying us for that. She's trying to do that for free. Uh, no, right? So they punish your posts, okay? The other thing is that it just looks repetitive and spammy. Like your followers don't wanna see the company graphic with the product blasted and the company blasted, all this stuff. It looks spammy, like Pinteresty type things. Like if you go on Pinterest, I always say Pinteresty type graphics. If you have no idea what that means, basically any picture that has words on it. Think about it. So like if you go to your own Facebook profile and you scroll for a few minutes and you're seeing a lot of pictures that you've posted that have words on them, like text, like where you can read something, Facebook thinks, hey, that looks like an ad because pictures with ad, pictures with words look like ads. And if Facebook says, hey, that looks like an ad and they didn't pay any money to pay for this ad, nope, we're gonna punish that post and they're gonna blow it right out of your newsfeed. That's why your friends aren't liking it and commenting on it usually. Unless it's something that's organically gonna get a lot of engagement, something that is super freaking funny, super educational, like it's, it's like the unicorn type of post, <laughs> right? They're very rare. Most of those posts that you find that you're posting that have pictures with words on them are not gonna get anywhere and they've just taken up real estate space. The more you do it, the less Facebook wants to show your profile, your post to other people in your newsfeed, okay? So 
here's the thing. I know this is like a lot of information for you to have to remember, okay? So a few weeks ago, I did a video and um, I just casually mentioned and my inbox blew up. <laughs> I casually mentioned that I was going to create um, a daily routine, like a guide and my actual posting strategy. Like there's a formula that I follow of like when I make a post, if I'm posting seven days in a week, I'm, there's literally a formula that I follow. I do not just post willy nilly. I'm every single thing that I'm posting is like posted with intention. Okay, so if I'm putting something out there for you, I know you watch my stuff. I know that you're watching my videos. I know that you're on my newsfeed and maybe you're scrolling, right? I'm not going to post something on my newsfeed that I know a majority of my audience would not find value, inspiration, education, or like something empowering, um, something tangible they can literally take and plop into their business to grow it. If it doesn't fall into those kinds of categories, I'm not going to put it out there for you to consume. I'm not going to give you garbage to consume. That's me. My brand is I want to have like a great space on this platform for you to be like, hey, I wonder what's on Laura's page. And like for you to scroll and find something of value, either something that lifts your spirits or grows your business or helps your brain, <laughs> right? So you have to kind of figure out what that is for you. Who watches your posts? And honestly, one of the strategies in this book um, that I wrote for you is going to help you identify that, okay? So um, I'll just go right into it. I'm not gonna share the whole thing because I want you guys to be able to print this out, but it's finally ready. This is the strategy that I promised you and my daily routine for Facebook, okay? This is specifically for Facebook. I am gonna do one for Instagram as well because it's, it's different. But this is specifically for Facebook. Now listen, uh, this is free by the way, so if you want this, just put ebook down below and I'll get you the link for it. Um, Cause again, if I post the link, like Facebook's gonna be like, nope. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. Um, you know how, and this is especially for ladies, you know how like when you go to the store and you buy a dress and you're like, this dress is amazing. I look great in this dress, it's a great price. And then you discover that the dress has pockets. <laughs> and you're like, it has pockets, right? Okay, like the dudes are probably like, y'all are weird. Um, the girls on this, I know y'all love dresses with pockets, okay? So when I made this ebook, um, I'm literally giving you my daily routine, okay? Um, the types of things to do every single day. So if you want this, just put ebook or book. Um, now, I didn't wanna just give you a whole bunch of content here with like a tons of things to do, like my strategy and all this kind of stuff. Y'all, I'm giving you pockets. There is nothing worse than getting a book and strategy and uh, some kind of course or whatever without trackers. Trackers are literally like information's version of pockets on dresses, okay? So in my opinion, if you're gonna create something that's gonna teach people something, you have to have trackers, checklists, something like that. So that's a little tip for you. So I literally have created trackers for you. You can print this out. This is totally free, by the way. So all of you guys that are commenting, I'm gonna come back and give you the, um, the deal. All right, there's even a calendar, so you can actually create your, and I actually teach you how to use this stuff. I'm not just gonna throw this out there and say like, good luck, have fun. I want to teach you how to use each of these trackers. There's one that you're going to use um, as a daily tracker. You're gonna just print this out literally every single week, okay? So like on Sunday nights, that's what I do, is on Sunday nights, I time block my calendar. Um, I set up like, here's the calls I need to be on, here's the one-on-ones I wanna do, here's the people I need to check in on, that kind of stuff. I'll probably do a whole nother training on like how to organize your time like that so that you are really specific about where you're spending your time so you don't find yourself scrolling for two and a half hours of getting nothing done. Um, I used to do that a lot, by the way. Like I would hop on Facebook or Instagram and be like, you know, thinking I'm working <laughs> and then realizing I'm just scrolling, I'm comparing, I'm consuming, and I'm not doing anything. That used to be me. It's a lot of people. A lot of people think I work my business a ton. I work my business so much. I work my business all day long and I haven't gotten any sales. You're probably not actually working your business if that's the case or you're doing the wrong things. So my goal with this is to get you into the right kinds of activity that are actually gonna move the needle, okay, in a way that's not overwhelming and without being spammy. 
Some of y'all, I know, you have leaders in your company who are telling you, oh, just share a post from Facebook and just hit the share button and people will read that story and then they'll come back to you. Nope, it doesn't work like that anymore. Oh, just share this graphic and oh, it's free shipping. Share the company graphic and people will just message you and say, hey, what product is free shipping? Nope, it doesn't work like that anymore. So I'm gonna actually go a little bit deeper in um, the next thing we come out with. My girlfriend and I, Elise, are coming out with something that's gonna take a way deeper dive and show you how to post, how to create a po post, how to write it, what pictures to use, when to post, all of that kind of stuff. That's gonna be a deeper dive. But this, this is literally going to teach you what to do on the daily, okay, so that you are front of mind, so you're consistent and then how to actually create your formula of what to post, what kinds of posts. You can't be too vague, right? So like the curiosity posting and attraction marketing buzz is really loud right now on social media, right? You're probably seeing ads and all this kind of stuff from people who wanna sell you their funnels. <laughs> um, of like, I fired my upline and I make these posts and people come to me and buy my thing and I've never had to you know, sell anything. I, that's all BS, sorry, sorry, not sorry. But they're trying to sell you their formula or their funnels, okay? What, what I'm trying to tell you is that you're going to fall into, there's a trap, a big trap, where they say, oh, attraction marketing, don't post your product, don't post your company, just post your life, your lifestyle. I think people misconstrue that of what that means because then they go on the whole opposite. They go from being spammy where it's like, hey, product this, join my team, buy my thing, this is on sale, buy two, get one, blah, blah, all this yuck, right, spam. So their friends are like, ew, ignore. And then they go way to the opposite end of the spectrum where they're like never posting about their product. They're never posting about their business. They're only posting like, oh, look how cute my dog is. And oh, I got this new outfit. And here's what I'm eating for lunch. And then they put like, they're, hello, are you even doing your business anymore? Do you even take your product anymore? They go on the whole opposite end of the spectrum in the, in the mindset of, oh, I can't post my business or product anymore. Here's what that means, okay? You have to post about your business and your products. You have to. <laughs> because otherwise, it's like a restaurant that's close their doors and turn off the lights. People are just gonna assume you're out of business if you don't post about it anymore. But there's a very, there's a way to post about your business and about your products in a way that is still offering value that people actually support you when you make that post, even if they're not interested in buying right now. They're still gonna support you in it. They're, they want to cheer you on because you're doing it in a way that's not spammy or weird, right? But that way is like, we call it curiosity posting. You want people to ask you what product are you taking? So if you're just like um, something like starting my day with great nutrition and you're posting like, I don't know, a bunch of stuff in the picture and it's not very clear of what you're saying or um, something like, yay, we're at Disneyland. Okay, that's great. But if you don't say little buzzwords like this product gives me more energy and appetite control and I've dropped a pant size in three weeks. You, you're not, if you're not saying something like that, people are not gonna ask you what product because you're not even saying anything about a product, right? So there's a whole lot to dive into. Um, in, this, in this free book, okay, in this little free workbook, there's actually a whole page on exactly what to post. So like if you have no clue, like I'm literally telling you, here's what to post on Facebook four times a week. <laughs> here's what to post two times a week. I'm literally giving this to you guys, okay? Um, this is stuff that I train our team on. We do like deep dives on this stuff and I just feel like this is, again, I know that a lot of you guys who watch my videos and who are on my Facebook, I know a ton of you guys are in network marketing. You love your direct sales company. You are in love with and obsessed with your products and your business and your team and you're happy. The problem is that you're overwhelmed and there's too much information and you feel like you're spinning your wheels. You feel like you can't ever keep up with the trends. Like some, as soon as you learn something, there's something new to learn, right? So I'm trying to meet you where you are is if you're happy with your business and you love your team and you love your product and you're obsessed with it, you just wanna do better and, so, and then reteach it to your team, you need this, okay? You also need to share this with them because there's they need this too. Um, anyway, so it's totally free. All you need to do is drop ebook or book below. Um, just let me know that and I'll come back and I'll give you the link to download it. You just, you're gonna download it for free. There's nothing to pay for or anything like that, okay? 
there's a couple of tips I want to leave you guys with um, before I hop off of here is one, you need to remember like when you open this ebook, there's several pages of, in here, okay? You're gonna need to print out two of these pages every week because those are your trackers, those are like your pockets, okay? Um, the overall arching theme to this whole book, you have to read it from the perspective of Zig Ziglar's quote, you can have everything in life you want if you will just help enough other people get what they want. The whole theme of this book is to provide value, to make it to where people know you, like you, and trust you. I have used this strategy, this, this actual strategy, this routine on Facebook to literally, I've personally sponsored over 1,500 people in my personal sponsor, in my personal business, okay, on Facebook. I'm just now starting to dabble into Instagram. Um, but 1,500 people have said yes to me personally and who have signed up and ordered with me because of this strategy. And I wanna give this to you, okay? The whole purpose though, is that if you're gonna do this business online, if you're gonna do this on Facebook, on social media, they have to feel like they know you. Like a lot of you guys probably feel like you know me. <laughs> You're watching my stories, like y'all, and my stories today. I don't know when you're watching this, but if you're catching this on replay, it's probably amazing. I mean, amazing, I'm reading, that's amazing. Um, it's probably disappeared by now if, you, if you're catching this on replay. But this morning, I literally went on my Instagram stories and Facebook stories, and I taught you guys how to apply eyelashes. That has nothing to do with my business. I don't sell makeup, okay? But I'm just, I'm trying to give a little insight into who I am, into what I do, into my life and stuff like that. Why? Because I want you to feel like we're best friends online. I want you to feel like you know me, you can trust me, right? That's what this is gonna help you do. Your whole mission on social media, if you're trying to use social media to grow your business, you have to show up consistently, like daily. You cannot just take a break from Facebook. You can't do that if you, I mean you can if you want, but you won't grow your business. Um, it, taking a break, it's kind of like a really great restaurant that you've heard a lot about and all of a sudden they've taken a break and they're going on like a three month hiatus, right? And they close their doors, all the lights are off and they're, they're nowhere to be found. Um, would you probably want to go back to that restaurant when they just suddenly reappear? Like, okay, here I am, I'm ready for your business now, give me your business. No, <laughs> they, they've lost trust, right? Because if they were so great, and if they were trustworthy, and especially for you, if you're in network marketing, direct sales, what kind of sponsor, what kind of leader ditches their business for two months, or a month, or a week? They don't, they don't. Um, if you want to attract high caliber people, or customers who are like, they keep reordering and stick with you no matter what, um, you have to show up for them consistently. You have to, it's so important. Why? Because when they know you, when they like you, and when they trust you, they will buy from you. When business, if you want business to happen on Facebook, on social media, you have to create the relationship first. You can do that online, like through the screen. You can tell when people are like for you or if they're just for your wallet. You can tell, you can sniff them out, okay? You've got that intuition inside you. So you have to show up in a way that is offering value to increase that no like and trust factor. Um, and you've gotta love people all the way in. You've gotta love them on their way out. You've gotta love them when they're somewhere in the middle of that process, right? So you've gotta show up. So always like that phrase, that quote by Zig Ziglar is on everything that I do. Um, it's literally been my mantra for, I don't even know how long, 10 years. As long as I've been in network marketing online, I've always had that in the front of my mind. Help other people. You will eventually get what you want. Help a freaking ton of people. 1,500 people being personally sponsored by me sounds like a lot. I know, it sounds like a ton of people. Those are just the people that I've offered help to. Have all of them like run like the wind and blown up their business and do what they say they're gonna do? No. But they've all said yes for a reason, because they trust me, right? That when I put my name on something, I mean it, and it's, and it's gonna be good, right? So I wanna help you guys kind of develop that too. So drop book or ebook below. I'll get you this whole thing. You can print it out right now. There's nothing to pay for. Um, and while you're at it, I would love your feedback on it. And this is the first time I've ever done anything like this before. It's a brand new site. I built it myself with my own two hands. <laughs> 
me and myself and I, um, the graphics and everything, I would love your feedback on it. Um, I'm gonna constantly be adding more stuff to it. I'm collaborating with a business partner of mine too. We're actually gonna create some courses and some boot camps and all that kind of stuff. We just have a lot to share. Um, she's earned multiple seven figures in her book. I've earned multiple six in her business. I've earned multiple six figures in my business and we just have a lot to share with you guys of how we've done all that, literally all online. Um, and so anyway, so stay tuned for more information on that. This is a free gift. Thank you guys so much for your support and uh, for also for your patience. Those of y'all who caught my video a couple weeks ago when I announced it, um, I know y'all have been patiently waiting. I think I've gotten back to everybody who's asked me for the book a few weeks ago. Um, <clears throat> but if I missed you, let me know or comment below book or ebook and I will get you the link here in just a few minutes. Okay, you guys, I'm excited. I'm excited for your feedback. Please let me know your thoughts. And um, yeah, I'm say thank you so much. Okay, you guys, I will see you guys on another video. I hope you got some great tips from this. I know you're gonna get awesome tips from that. There's even uh, the heart and hustle uh, do's and don'ts. There's some little hacks in here and little things. Maybe you can like print it out and put it next to your workspace just as a little reminder. So I love you guys. I hope that you found value in this. I know you're going to find value in this ebook. So if you want to drop ebook or book below and I will talk to you guys soon. I'll see you on another video. Bye you all. <laughs>